Hey everyone, David C. Anderson from the Knife Center coming at you still from SHOT Show 2023. We're here at the QSP booth and a rather uh, a gentleman with a rather good name here, Mr. David, yeah, is you, about to show us some new knives. How yeah. are you? Good, very good. good yeah, good. been a very productive show, so SHOT Show for businesses if you want to come out. It's a great show to, to show off things. Uh, new knives coming out, so we have five new models, no name. Uh, so if you have that idea, leave it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, five models that are currently known, so we're going to refer to them as a model number, and then we'll kind of go from there. Okay. Uh, but sounds good. Uh, first idea, we're going to be getting into kitchen knives. Uh, so now this is like a copper Damascus on this front one. Uh, you're going to be uh, with an inlay. Uh, so it's going to be a little higher price point, but for the size of it, it's actually a fairly light knife. So that's going to be kind of the butcher style oh, yeah. um, uh, type of uh, product for us. So it's yeah, it's a good product. Uh, it's we're, gorgeous. We're, yeah, we're still working through the prototyping phase, so that should be out uh, probably uh, first quarter, uh, probably mid first quarter for us. Okay. Yeah. So definitely going to do the butchery stuff real well. But I like that there's enough drop to the edge here. You could still kind of rock on a cutting yeah. board with it. Yeah. Do all kinds of stuff. Great at the home. If you want to get fancy, great camp kitchen knife too, I would say. Yeah, indeed. I love the crown spine there. That makes it very comfortable. Very cool. What's the uh, the handle material here? Uh, that one is a uh, maple. Uh, so there's uh, two different materials, but then the majority is going to be a maple. Okay. Uh, yeah, for it, the handle. it almost looked like a Buckeye burl yeah. for a second. That's a, a really cool stain you put on there. Feels great. Looks phenomenal too. Yeah. Yep, so now the standard one, so we have basically the fancy guy, you can put up on your magnet board, on your wall or something like yeah. that. Use it, of course, uh, but then you're going to have the standard one, going to be looking at probably 14C28, uh, kitchen steel, sandwich uh, steel yeah. made for knives. Great choice. Yep. And is, then, the, is the Damascus a stainless or is that a carbon? Uh, it is stainless on that one, okay, so it's cool. going to be basically a VG10 uh, comparable and then uh, probably like a 4, 440, 420 actually uh, on that. So yeah, same type as the ones here, and then a different style on this guy. So price-wise, um, what you might be looking at is going to be probably going to be for the copper is going to be about 260 ish and then the other one's going to be about uh, the lower end. So it's going to be near the $100 price point for that. $100? Yeah, yeah, wow. about a $100 price point. So For for this? Yeah, yeah. so about 150 ish that for that. That is impressive. <laughs> that's very yeah. impressive. Yeah, so that's another uh, kitchen knife for us. Now, so that's going to be about a 150 range. So that kind of look for that uh, for the ones that are not Damascus. You're going to have that type of you know, uh, price point. And I mean, that is a great value for the, for the level of detail here. Again, crown spine. Love that handle. And this is still unnamed, yeah? Yep, yeah, yeah. still unnamed, yeah. So it, basically we had QS and dash a number. So this is QS dash KK for a kitchen knife. Uh, so that's where we're going to be uh, kind of naming those things. There we go. Still stick to some birds and animals, so it might stay to that line as well. The balance on it is great. It's not like a, a heavy duty, or not, I shouldn't say that. It's not a heavy feeling yeah. knife. Yeah. There's a nimbleness to it. Yeah, a lot great. of times when people are picking up, they say, oh, I'm surprised how light that is. Yeah. So that's where. Which just means you can cut longer. Yeah. <laughs> is this uh, ebony? Uh, I forgot which wood that is, but yeah, I mean, it's going to be probably in the ebony line. We use that on the hawk as well for the ebony wood. Yeah, I mean, just look at the, the detailing going on there. That's fantastic. Very cool. Very cool. Yeah, and then for the French communities, I mean, this kind of may be the cheese knife, fruit knife type of thing, uh, but this is going to be you know, for this type of blade. Uh, very nice, uh, very much more traditional style in the blade as far as how that looks. And then that's where, at least for the French market, you know, the people that were coming by, they're saying, that, yeah, that's a little bit more what they like is more traditional shapes. Gotcha, uh, so yeah. that would be a, a good one for that. VG10 Damascus? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. Same thing. It's going to be uh, on another one. So Desert Ironwood for the handle? Uh, yeah, it's a nice, uh, nice wood for us. Looks great. I, I love this handle shape. I love the detailing of the, of the cap on the end on both of these. Yep. That looks very, very cool indeed. Yeah, so those will be getting going in here in a little bit. Nice. And then uh, where we have our bread and butter, uh, the folding side of the market, uh, is going to be where we have. So we're going to start with the high-end one uh, for us. Uh, so $428. Why is it $428? Because it has mocha tie. Uh, it has the, basically the fire work on the spine. Mm -hmm. Also does have a compound grind uh, for this guy and also in 20 CV. Uh, so that's going to be uh, the high-end for us. But we do a lot of OEM work as well. So. This is still in our wheelhouse for what's available and then the feel of it as far as the quality too. Yeah. Uh, so that's where you know, we work to still bring that into our own line. I mean, definitely the uh, the kind of party piece of this design is definitely that file work, which carries back into that backspacer as well. Yeah. Such a cool look. 
you get traction as though it were jimping without it being too much. Yeah, not too aggressive. And yeah. it looks phenomenal. And it feels absolutely great. Yeah, we've had these, uh, I featured these on uh, the Knife Center channel yep. uh, at this point. So these are uh, something that you can get your hands on right now. Yep. Links in the description, of course. Very good. Uh, for these guys. Very, very good. Yep, and then uh, slip joint also available now, but then it's just a really nice value. I mean, there's going to be $84 in this variant. Uh, that one's going to be about $60. So uh, price for uh, quality walk and talk, probably about two to three pound pull. Uh, some of the uh, other ones are really low, and then like even some of the higher end ones are like five pounds, which is almost like picking up a uh, jug of milk with yeah. your two fingers. <laughs> uh, so uh, it's kind of a middle ground on it, good snap to it still. Still has a good, uh, basically the, the spring being level, open mid-closed. Yep. Uh, so a lot of things that people in the slip joint world uh, really like. And this is the Hedgehog. Yes. That is the Hedgehog. So that should be currently available too. Then we're yep. going to go into the new stuff right after this. Excellent. Excellent. Very cool. Yeah. Yeah. So starting with the no names. So this is where you guys can start with the comments and everything else. Get creative. Yeah. Get creative. And so animal, bird, uh, something like that is still where we're kind of sitting for this. Uh, so this is going to be a different one. Uh, so this is, a, this is going to be QS146 can middle finger flick. Uh, it's going to be uh, more of this carbon fiber. So it's a golden carbin fiber. You have the thumb stud. You have a hole. Uh, also have a front flip for it. So it's a different style for us, but it is heavily milled on the handle. I mean, that handle is very striking. You said it was a, it's a carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah it's a golden right? carbon yeah. fiber. It has a new a style of our pocket clip as well for that titanium. Very nice. Yeah, I, I love the kind, it's gonna be hard, hard to kind of see probably on the camera because of the level of detail or the level of contrast in yeah. there, but there's some really cool shaped lines kind of yeah. flowing up into that handle. That looks really great. Middle flicks or finger fr yeah. reverse yeah. flicks, yeah. great. Cool blade. Yeah. Very yeah, so nice. that's going to be probably S35. Uh, so we're working on the final details of all the materials, and that's why the price point is still in, in a little bit of flux. flux. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah but about one, 160 is kind of what you're expecting on something like that uh, for a price point. Yeah, plenty of handle length there to get a, a heavier grip on without it being too big. I like the thickness on the blade or the, uh, the thinness, yeah. shall we yeah, say. Yeah. That's going to be a really nice cut. Very cool. Excellent. Yep, and then uh, more of a neutral handle. So this is going to be uh, different flipping styles. So there's going to be a front flip as well as uh, the uh, top flipper style. So you're going to have the regular flipper tab. Also going to have the front flip side. So, and it all just drops into the handle. So you don't really have anything poking out. Still has some a little bit of a guard uh, with the handle shape itself, uh, so you can hold on to it. Mm -hmm. uh, but just a clean design. Yeah, uh, so really, into the budget side. Really clean. Absolutely. So that's going to be that. QS 144. So again, no names on that, but. That is the model for this one. Nice, it's got like a nice neutral handle, like you said, and a nice, like a perfectly neutral blade too. Yeah. Like, you know, it's gonna do everything without uh, without shouting about it. Yeah, yeah and it's <laughs> gonna be the full flat now, so it'll cut really well, uh, good control in your cuts. Nice. And I bet you, you guys, I bet you in the back of your mind, you're thinking about, there's gonna be a lot of cool there, stuff you can do with be, this. There will be, yeah. You know, so if anybody has a penguin shit. and everything else, I mean, yeah. we have a lot of different variants, so we're gonna be, giving it that treatment yeah. as well. And this, this is a great shape to just kind of show off all that extra stuff. Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, indeed. Nice. Yeah, so next up on the line is going to be a budget side of things. Uh, and then that's going to be, uh, this is going to be somebody about $70 for this guy. Uh, 154 CM, or actually this one's a 14 C28 uh, for this guy. But it's going to be more of a contoured handle for it. Uh, also has a little bit of a pattern uh, for uh, the, that uh, barrel spacer. That also rolls into the pocket clip there. Cool. Uh, so it's a different style uh, for us, but it's it is fully contoured, so it actually is really comfortable in hand. Yeah, for sure, for sure. And what I like about this too is like my pinky finger's kind of falling off mm -hmm. the back, but it doesn't feel like anything's missing yeah, either. Gotcha. It's got something that's going to work again for those larger hand sizes. I talk about those kind of neutral handles and how that helps there. That you've got that here for sure. Yeah, yeah cool blade. Yeah, very nice. Great little pocket knife. Yeah. All right. Yeah, so uh, button locks are all the, the craze, the rage right now. So we do have a button lock coming out. Uh, there's going to be uh, similar handle material, handle shape, uh, Tonto, and then also going to be the uh, uh, more clip point style blade. And so that's going to be the clip point. Uh, so we are going with our Fear Noble. We've had that on the Mamba years ago. Spyderco's had it before that. Uh, Kaiser has their things, uh, but this is going to be the Fear Noble handle which is acrylic. Yeah, it looks cool. Nice shape. Action's great. Kind of exactly what you want from a button lock these days. 
And then is this yeah, the other yeah, blade? That's going to be the Tanto blade. Yeah. So we're going to have the same thing, different handle materials. That's going to be the micarta now, version of it. Um, and this is like one of the standouts for the show for me. I like the, how everything comes together for that Tanto and that uh, handle. And judging by what I'm seeing here, probably hit a, a pretty decent price point. With yeah, these, yeah, yeah, definitely. It's going to be under hundred dollars, so probably going to be about seventy to uh, ninety dollars. So the depending on yeah, version, yeah. a little bit higher. Uh, but yeah, it's going to be at that under a hundred dollar mark you know, for sure. Yeah, very nice. There's a lot of kind of uh, what makes the penguin so good. And mm -hmm. I kind of see a little bit of that yeah. in the the construction and shape here. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, but that's all the new models for us uh, that are coming out. So first quarter and the first quarter is kind of where we're going to be seeing those things come out. Uh, and one thing that did not make it to the show, I don't know if we can get that on camera, but behind us here, the green knife, um, that's going to be the slip joint uh, penguin. So European market, uh, American market, that's all the, liking the modern traditional knives. And that's going to be something that will be available that we just couldn't make it to the show with. Very cool. Penguins are great. I'm sure you can sell. I'm sure we're going to all sell a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's very Indeed. cool. Awesome. Well, that's what we've got yep. to show you right now from SHOT Show at the QSP booth. Keep sticking around for more SHOT Show coverage, and you can check out the link in the description where you can find a, uh, a link to the QSP section. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, <laughs> but check it out there. Keep an eye out for this stuff. Some of this, like we said, is available now. You can find it there. David, thank you so much. Thank you very much for coming by. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you, guys.